you may want to watch our video about pharmacology and drugs first. Some medical conditions can be prevented or treated using drugs. Before they are released onto the market, new drugs go through clinical trials. This involves testing the drugs in a controlled way firstly on animals, then on humans. It helps scientists to identify any side effects, as well as decide if it will actually be safe and effective. Testing drugs on humans involves many phases and they are strictly controlled by governments and organizations in each country. Drug development follows a process with three distinct stages. Stage 1, the preclinical stage, and is perhaps the longest. Many drugs do not make it past this stage. It includes discovery, animal testing, and patent application. Stage 2, the clinical stage, which is broken down into four phases. Phase 1, small-scale trials on healthy individuals. Phase 2, medium-scale trials on sufferers of a condition the drug is aimed at treating. Phase 3, large-scale trials on sufferers of a condition and an application for the drug to be licensed is made. Phase 4, the drug is licensed and prescribed for general use. And Stage 3, post-market surveillance. This happens once the drug is used by the general population. It includes ongoing feedback from doctors and patients. Several years later, when the patent expires, any company has the right to manufacture the drug and make cheaper, generic versions available. This means that more people can access the medicine. On average, it takes 12 years for a drug to be licensed. It takes so long because the testing involved is extensive, large-scale, rigorous and carried out on a large number of individuals. All of this is done in order to guarantee the safety and effectiveness of the drug. In stage 1, animal testing is used, and this can be controversial. There are various arguments both in favour and against animal testing. Pause the video while you think of some for both. The ones in favour of animal experiments might be experimenting on animals is acceptable if suffering is minimized in all experiments. Human benefits are gained, which could not be obtained by using other methods. And testing on animals could save human lives. And the ones against animal experiments might be, it can cause suffering to animals. The benefits to human beings are not proven. Any benefits to human beings that animal testing does provide could be produced in other ways and there are new technologies that supersede animal testing. Two important features of human drug testing in stage 2 are placebos and blind or double-blind trials. All patients involved in clinical trials are given either the drug that is being tested or a placebo. A placebo looks like the drug being tested, but contains no active substances and would be expected to have no effect on patients. This is important because often just the suggestion that a medicine will make someone feel better causes an improvement. In a blind trial, the patients don't know whether they are taking the drug being tested or the placebo. In a double-blind trial, neither the researchers nor the patients know who is taking the placebo or the real drug. A computer program is used to randomly select which patient receives which medication. This information is not released from the computer program until the trial is over. Blinded trials are used to reduce or eliminate bias. Whether or not you agree with animal testing, we should all be grateful to any individual that takes part in a clinical trial. Animals, human volunteers, doctors and nurses, computer programmers and statisticians. Everyone who brings drugs to the market can help people. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fusco app as well? Until next time.